Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. The Monster Hunter franchise has never really caught on in the West, even though there has been more than 20 titles in the series. This is set to change when Monster Hunter World hits the shelves in early 2018. If you are new to the Monster Hunter franchise, or like me you haven't played in over a decade, then here's 11 reasons to be excited about Monster Hunter World. Just in case it wasn't obvious enough by the title, you play as a Monster Hunter. Setting out in a brave new world, you take on missions to discover unknown areas of this new continent and venture through quests to identify, track and kill hulking great monsters, most of which are based around dinosaurs, dragons and lizards. If you don't want to kill the beast, you can trap it instead, but come on, I didn't bring a 15 foot sword here for no reason. As you'd expect in 2017, the game supports a full open world without load screens dynamically changing from day to night, and vice versa. Surprisingly, this is the first Monster Hunter game to do this. In the past, zones and areas broke up the map, allowing hunters to escape to a new area when they were losing a fight. Kind of like playing Resident Evil and going through a door and leaving the zombie on the other side. In Monster Hunter World, you will need to know your surroundings, as there is no escape from a raging Anjanath. I think I said that right. We've seen a living, breathing ecosystem at work in the early footage, but what the heck does that even mean? Trees can fall, plants can be eaten, snots can be scraped from the wall… Ugh. But the greatest thing about the ecosystem is the natural food chain. Monsters will eat monsters. In fact, we saw a great Jagras eat an Aptanath and then scurry back to its nest to regurgitate it for the kids. Brilliantly gross. You can use the system to your benefit too by leading monsters you can't kill to a bigger monster who may do the work for you. Now that's a living, breathing ecosystem. Once a monster is defeated, its carcass can be carved and looted to craft equipment and weapons, strengthening your character in a never ending loop of hunt, kill, loot. As the difficulty ramps up, the armor sets and weapons you choose will give you an advantage. If you've crafted the right set, of course. Saying that, I do hope this sword wasn't made from a monster's junk. Ugh. There are a few other mechanics new to Monster Hunter World, such as the Ghillie Mantle, which is like a cloak which can increase stealth, allowing you to watch your prey in close up, waiting for the right time to attack. Different mantles help in different ways. There's a mantle for luring a monster to you. So if you wear that one, then I hope you run like Usain Bolt. Another new item with multiple uses is the Slinger on your arm. It's a freaking grappling hook, bringing verticality into fights, allowing you to swing high and even jump on a monster's back if that's your jam. If you don't want to use it that way, then just use it as a slingshot instead. Hunters have scout flies to help them navigate and track in different areas of the map. Pick up enough monster evidence, in this case glowing snot piles, and those scout flies will locate the beast that sneezed everywhere. It'll also work with footprints and drool and um, other bodily fluids. Let's get to the real selling point, four player cooperative hunts. I don't know about you, but I would absolutely love to track down monsters with friends, crafting different armor sets to complement one another and ultimately carving up a Rathalos and making its testicles into a new rucksack. You can build a squad before the hunt begins using the hunting lodge loved by so many players. Or if you've gone out alone and you need desperate help, then fire an SOS flare into the sky opening your game to others, and hopefully they'll come to your rescue. Structured multiplayer, drop in and out mechanics, and the server will be open to the world too. What more could you want? All 14 weapon types from previous Monster Hunter titles are here too, so expect to see some weird and wonderful sights. Traditional swords and shields, dual blades, big ass swords, axes, there's even a bow if you prefer to stay at a distance in a fight. Oh and look at this one, a gun lance. It's a freaking gun and a jousting lance, all in one. What is not to love there? This will be the first Monster Hunter game on PlayStation since 2009, the first ever on Xbox and the PC too. Expect the PC community to mod the heck out of this one and create Iron Man inspired armor sets. We don't have a fixed release date yet, but we are assured the release is global and we can all play at the same time using cross-region cooperative play, except for PC who have to wait for some reason. Monster Hunter World will be coming to us in early 2018. What do you think to it? Are you going to try out Monster Hunter World? Excited? I know I am, and I'll be working on my friends to get them to buy it too. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you next time.